What is up, people of YouTube? This is Carter, aka Headshot from Rundown Gaming here, and today we're doing a little bit of like a strategic video. I was gonna do this in Arena, but I tried this twice yesterday, and every single time I ended up, like, my teammates left, and I ended up having to, like, do a 1v4 video. So I just stopped recording like halfway through the video, and it was it was it was just stupid. It wasn't wasn't good at all. Oh god. Okay. So right now, okay, we're a little bit into the game, but I'm basically just gonna, you know, go through my mindset. I completely. I'm not even paying attention. I'm gonna completely go through my mindset um, and basically talk about like pushing things properly and what to push and what to watch um, when playing what role. So right now, I'm just going to try to slay out around the hill. Um, let my teammates get the points. I think they, there might... Yeah, there's some coming from the back. So I'm just going to enter the hill really quickly. Bait them bait them out, you know. My teammates finally picked up that kill. So now they're all going to be pushing from the front. So I'm going to choose a different side. I'm going to nade this because there could be somebody coming from there. You never know. Got to keep all bases covered. Okay, well... That was, uh, I didn't expect that guy to come back out, but he did, I think, oh, okay, so I'm just gonna dip in here, get that hard point really quickly, I knew he was in that room already, so I always, you know, I always make sure, after I kill somebody, um, if I've seen somebody somewhere else, I'll basically just instantly pre-aim it, and that was really lucky on my part, okay, there we go. So now it's in the middle hill, so I'm just actually gonna nade this, just in case somebody runs over there. And see, this guy almost did. Um, so again, I'm just kind of slaying out around the hill, locking down this middle section of the map, and just making sure my teammates don't get killed from there. So if they're going to kind of get a weird spawn. They're going to be spawning, like, over in that back corner. And then they're basically going to all come through this building. And that's kind of what I want to force, because then my teammates only have to watch one thing, right? Makes it easier on them. And if they're all coming towards me or towards them, it's less work for me. So it's just all together, it's what you want. Oh my god, I'm straight melting these kids. Okay, now I'm just pushing into the hill like a maniac. I'm just trying to juggle the hill. Um, if you don't know, so basically juggling the hill is letting the enemy get in there and then going in there and killing them so that you can get the points and capture it. Um, it's. It's actually a really start smart strategy if you're really close to streaks. So, you know, if you're just starting off in competitive um, play, you probably this probably isn't a strategy that you're very familiar about. Um, but it's one that is very helpful. Okay, I just turned on that kid. So now I know they're coming from this okay, from that end of the map. So I was, I was basically just gonna push up to their side, made sure made sure they couldn't get to the hill. Um, which didn't work out very well. Now I'm going to get into here, and then, yeah, oh, what? So, I just got killed from a nade from nowhere. Oh my god. Man, nades have, like, they have no indicator anymore, and they have a, a ridiculous range, which is not good if you're on the receiving end, but it's awesome if you're getting kills. So now it's in the back of the... One thing that you really need to be sure of is rotating. Um, that, because it's pubs, I don't really care, because it's really easy to break a hill in pubs. And no one else really rotates. Um, it's also not a competitive map, so I've just, like, kind of forgotten the rotations on this map. Which is fine, doesn't matter, it's not important. Okay, saw that kid go that way, so now I'm just, I'm basically just gonna, again, lock down this section of the map. Try to keep people from coming here. It doesn't seem like anybody, aside from that one guy, is really coming around this area of the map. I think they're all coming by Waterfall. Um, yeah, they're definitely all coming by Waterfall. And so, oh, oh, okay. Except for that guy. That guy did come straight down the middle of the map. And, you know, it's things like that yeah, you really have to be aware of. Um, which, I mean, don't take my word for it, because I just didn't even know he was coming from there. But that's really one thing, like, after after playing competitive for a little while, you kind of just, like, have this know about of, like, map awareness and where people are on the map. But, you know, generally, you know, wherever you are on the map, they're not going to be, so they're going to be on the other side. Unless you, like, if, if you're, all of your team, teammates are on one side, right, they're going to be on the other side, generally. 
And I'm just gonna go in here and yada and take the hill. Um, again, specialists, especially gravity spikes, amazing for clearing hills. And I'm at a little bit of a disadvantage here, but that's okay because they're just not killing me right now. Um, and another one, one really effective strategy, especially with the Vesper, is strafing. Um, so in this game, you know, so, so strafing has always been a thing that has helped your aim, uh, just so you don't have to move your stick as much. But in this game, the more you strafe, the more um, like aim assist you get. So if you're strafing like this in a gunfight, see what? Oh, I thought he punched me. Okay, never mind. I was. I was about to go crazy. But the more you strafe, um, the more uh, aim assist you'll actually get. Uh, and you can really feel it with the Vesper. The Vesper is, like, ridiculous for it. And um, the, v the VMP doesn't do it very much, which is strange. Um, but, yeah, the Vesper, you can really notice it. Um, it's quite ridiculous. Like, look at that. Like, that was just me backing up, and then I started moving to the side, and it just locked onto him. So, that's one thing that can help your aim, aside from just practice. And, okay. Oh my god, my shots didn't even hit him. That was kind of poopy. Whatever. Anyways, that's the end of the game. Oh, that's, that's almost the end of the game. It's That's the end of the game now. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, leave a like on the video if you like the freaking video. Comment, tell me uh, if it was helpful. I know it was kind of short. I didn't do the best at explaining things. Um, aside from, you know, when you have a specific role, you kind of just want to lock down parts of the map and prevent people from getting into the hill when your teammates are in the hill. Um, because the people that are in the hill are really vulnerable, right? There, there's only place, certain places they can go. They can't just flank around something or whatever without completely giving up points. Um, other than that, subscribe to keep up with the content. Uh, tell me if you want more stuff like this. Uh, obviously, better ones. Uh, maybe in Arena, if I can actually get a, an Arena game. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video.